In this video, I'm going to be working to prove this identity uh, involving these combinations. So um, I just did a video on number 21, part B. So you might want to start there and review and understand that solution because this one is just slightly more complicated. So it might be a better place for you to start with 21B. All right, so just like we did in 21B, We've got two sides of this equation, and you have to pick one and work from that exact expression and build and make it look like the other side of the equation. But you can only work with one uh, side of the equation at a time because otherwise you're introducing an additional assumption that that equality already exists. So. What I'm going to do is just kind of play around with both sides and see if anything strikes me. So this is the first time in a while that I've looked at this, so you can kind of hopefully join me in understanding how to think about this. So first thing, um, I'm just going to start with the right-hand side uh, just to see how that looks when I apply that formula for these combinations. So I know that n choose k is just n factorial divided by k factorial times n minus k factorial. And I know that n minus k choose r minus k is just n minus k factorial divided by r minus k, oopsies, r minus k factorial times n minus k minus the quantity r minus k factorial. Okay, and notice I have some additional restrictions that r has to be less than or equal to n and k has to be less than or equal to r. And those are just included to make these uh, valid uh, combinations because if that weren't true then you know n, n choose r wouldn't be defined and uh, you know n minus k um, wouldn't make sense necessarily. R minus k wouldn't make sense here. So we're just trying to keep everything uh, positive and defined in terms of these combinations. All right, so I'm gonna keep manipulating this to see where it gets me. Um, but I might just go ahead and take a look at the left-hand side to see what I'm trying to work towards. So I'm not working on both sides, right? This is just sketch work building towards that final proof just trying to get it get some idea of what I want it to look like so I'm just going to take a look at the left hand side and see how to rewrite that involving uh, factorial so just rewriting using that theorem involving n choose r um, so n choose r that's just n factorial divided by r factorial times n minus r factorial and r choose k is just r factorial divided by k factorial times r minus k factorial. All right, so I'm seeing some common things here. Um, I've got, uh, well, let's see. Let's, let's keep going. I'm just playing right now, seeing if I get anywhere with this. And I'm just kind of seeing how I might be able to make one side look like the other. And nothing's really hitting me yet, so I'm just going to go back to that right-hand side and um, just go ahead and rewrite this. Okay, so n minus k minus the quantity r minus k is just going to be n minus r. And I'm liking that because that's here, and I'm liking this r minus k because that's here. The only thing that I don't quite like because um, I like the k factorial, um, but this n minus k and this r um, aren't quite right here. So let's see what we can do. All right, well, um, let's just, let's just see here. I'm gonna just go ahead and see um, what I get um, if I divide out this common factor of n minus k factorial. Um, sometimes, you know, you want to leave that in there. Sometimes you don't, but I'm just going to divide it out and see where that gets me. Then I have n factorial divided by k factorial times 1 over r minus k factorial 
uh, times n minus r factorial. So now if I look at my denominator, it looks like the only thing that's missing uh, is that r factorial. Um, because if I multiply rational expressions, this is just going to be n factorial divided by, uh, let's see here if I can go down a little bit further, n factorial divided by the quantity k factorial times r minus k factorial times n minus r factorial. All right, so what I'm going to do, because I know that I want an r factorial in the numerator and the denominator, when I, uh, this is where I'm trying to go, right? I can't go there yet, but I'm trying to make this look like this, right? Um, so what I'm going to do with the expression that I'm working with, that expression from the right-hand side, I'm going to go ahead and multiply top and bottom by r factorial. So I multiply top and bottom, and that's okay. I can multiply any expression by 1 without changing the value of that expression, or without changing the meaning, right? Okay, so now let's see what we have. Now I can rewrite this as, let me just change the order. So multiplication is commutative, um, and these factorials are really just like numbers, right? They are just holding a place for some integer. So if I take some integer, and a uh, positive integer, right, and take it factorial, then I just get another integer back. So I can go ahead and multiply the denominators and the numerators in any order. So I'm just going to reorder these so that they're closer to this order. So instead of r factorial times n factorial, I'm going to write n factorial times r factorial. And then in the denominator, I'm going to rewrite this so I have r factorial times n minus r factorial uh, times k factorial times r minus k factorial. And now we're almost there, right? Um, I can just uh, separate these into two rational expressions that are being multiplied. Um, And then I get my desired uh, expression back, right? Because n factorial divided by r factorial times n minus r factorial, that's just n choose r. And then r factorial divided by the quantity k factorial times the quantity r minus k factorial, that's just r choose k. So actually, let's see. Starting with the right-hand side, we were able to only manipulate that, right? in order to make it look like the left-hand side, okay? So like I said in the last one, this is a sketch of this proof, um, but it's not quite written up as nicely as your final answer should be, okay? It should be clear that you're starting with this expression, um, because if, if, this were, if this side over here were in your answer, it might be a little bit distracting and confusing. Um, so you want to work linearly with just one side, and rewrite those expressions to try to get the other side, okay?